good evening YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is with you. Uh, thanks for dialing back into us. Slight interruption to the usual schedule of old French ship boxes. I haven't had, I'm, I'm waiting for some parts on the, for the Realm 19 to be able to crack on with that. So I'm still waiting to do some stuff before I can then film it and edit it and publish it. But we want to keep publishing some videos for you guys. So um, we're going to take a little time warp back in time uh, to September last year, where we did our little rock box rally to the Nürburgring in September. And I had a bit of an eventful time in my Clio 182. So still French. The issues that we had with the 182 was that literally just as I was about to get on the Nürburgring, the alternator failed. <laughs> Typical French, right? Um, electrical gremlins. It kind of failed, but it didn't. My battery light was on, but my voltmeter was still showing 14 volts. So I couldn't quite figure out what was going on. So anyway, I sent it for a lap around the ring with my, uh, with my boy in the car with me. Um, and then we set about trying to fix it at the uh, at the hotel at the ring to um, to no avail. But when I got it back, um, which was a tail in itself, and I'll cut to a montage of that in a minute. But when we got it back, I set about uh, replacing it and thought um, people might find it useful on how to uh, how to fix a, a replace an alternator on a Clear One A Two. When we were at the ring, we researched it, and it was like people were saying, "Oh yeah, it's like a three four hour job. We got to take the front end off that and all this." And I was like, "I'm not doing this. We can't be doing this at the side of the ring." So we found a way involving a jubilee clip. Those, if you know, you know. Uh, and we got it done down to an art, and because we probably swapped it out about four times in the end with different alternators and different regulators and stuff at the side of the ring. So we got it down to an art, really, getting it done in about twenty minutes. So. Um, thought we might find it useful on how we did that. So, enough of the old Reynold, and cue the less old Reynold. It's the day, the morning, the morning after, the morning of the morning that I've just come back from the Nürburgring. Got back at about half past one this morning. It's now half past ten this morning. And if you've seen the other video, you'll know that uh, I had some alternating issues. My French Nugget decided to do French Nugget things and stop producing electricity. So I'm back with my other Clio that's been on the drive that I know has got a working alternator is we're going to change the alternators over. I read online that it takes three hours. It doesn't. I, you could probably do it in half an hour if you know what you're doing. Uh, and hopefully if I can tell you what to do, you'll know what to do. Tools rise. You're going to need some sort of flathead spanner, 8mm uh, spanner for disconnecting and reconnecting the battery, a Jubilee clip between 70 and 90mm, and shaped like this, that will become clear in a minimum in a moment. 16 mil, um, doesn't need to be deep or anything. Um, don't need a 17 mil, I don't know why that's there. These wobbly heads are worth their weight in gold if you can get older one. Better than UJs. Um, half inch or three eighths, whichever you're working with. A 13 mil um, and a long exten extension. And a 13 mil spanner. If you can get a ratchet spanner, it's easier. It'll save you time. I've lost mine, don't know where it is, so I've just got. A DIN, DIN 3113, chrome vandium, top quality, probably little or something, and if you've got one, um, then again, uh, I'll just save you some time. So the order in which we're going to do things, don't need to jack it up, don't need to take the bumper off. Um, we're going to take this plastic cover off, we're going to take this grill out, we're going to take the top end of the slam panel out and just move it out of the way, and that's it. We don't need to do anything else at this stage. So let's get cracking with that. So if we're pretending that this isn't a knackered car, um, there's little lugs here with like a little flathead quarter turn piece. Um, just undo those and pop those clips out. And then this top piece will come and done. If you're like me, get your favorite set of clippers and cut your zip ties. And then this bit 
This part of the grill will come off. So now with the grill off, you can see the alternate here is, is pretty visible there. Um, and that's all the access that we're going to need. The next step is taking this slam panel off. Now there's 13 there, 13 there, across the other side, 13, 13. And then, if you can see down there, there's two 13s. One down there, and then across the other side, and one down there that basically hold this piece into the crash bar. So that's what you could do with a 13mm ratchet spanner for, which I don't currently own, so that's going to take me a while. So we'll do some editing and I would have undone those. They are quite stiff, use some penetrating fluid, all that type of stuff. These ones should just buzz off yeah, pretty quickly. ones you don't actually have to take all the way out you just have to loosen them because they're just pinched so once you loosen them this thing will all slide out then which hopefully will become clear in a bit so now that's off You've got some pretty good access to your alternator here. Uh, you can do some tests, you can do some what checks, you can do some visual inspections, whatever you need to do. Um, but the next steps, this bracing needs to come off. So there's a 13mm bolt and a 13mm nut to that side. And then down there, just above the, what's that, temperature sensor or something. Uh, that is a 17mm. Um, which is why I needed that 17 mil. So you do need a 17 mil. That's 17 mil. Got this 13 mil holding that top bit on. And then you've got underneath this plug here, just underneath there, if I can sketch to it, is a 16 mil bolt that goes all the way through. So that's quite a long bolt. There's one thing we need to do before that, which is compress this tensioner, um, which is where that Jubilee comes in handy. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this on my own. When I did it 15 times at the Nürburgring, I had lots of friends um, who helped me. But effectively, what you want to do is get your funky shaped Jubilee clip, that shape something like that, and it's going to go hook under the bottom of that spring and over the top of that spring, and then you're going to tighten the Jubilee clip to compress the spring, which will take the slack off that belt. Okay? So spring top of the spring like that make sure you can access that bolt on top of your or screw on top of your jubilee clip what helps is if you can get someone to one dangle that on the spring while somebody else grabs this belt here and pulls working hard as they compress it because as you pull it that's actually going to compress the spring itself so Obviously that's going to be difficult for me to film, but well, let's watch me struggle, eh? What's usually easier with these Jubilee clips is that rather than using a spanner, is using just a 7mm socket on there. So, let's cut, and I'm going to go and get a 7mm socket. We're back with a 7mm on a very long extension. So let's give this another wheel, shall we?
this eye bolt out of there. Next one is that 17 down there. I got a gun, I suggest cracking it off by hand first and then using the gun just to wind it out to make your life easier. You don't want to strip the bolt down there and you don't want to snap a bolt down there. So crack it off by hand and then wind it up with the gun. Bracket. Put that to one side. I've got more room in the other now. Next thing to do, take this plug out. It's a little flicky clip around the back. We might need to use a little flathead and um, 13mm on there. Careful with this one. Um, this one, because if you start turning it and you find it's twisting this cable, it will snap the uh, crimp ring. Ask me how I know. Next thing we're going to do, I can't get this plug off yet, but that's fine. I can just crack this bolt off, get it alternator free, and I'll have more access to get a little flathead down the side of that plug uh, just to get it off. I've got a 16mm on a wobbly head on a long extension, and then I'm just going to ch chuck a ratchet on you and crack it off. Yeah, you can use a gun if you want, I wouldn't recommend it. Just crack it off by hand, maybe use the gun to buzz it off if you're that particularly lazy. So that's cracked off, so I'm just winding that off. It's going to be quite tight, just take your time. And uh, it should come all the way out, and then it'll, it'll it's just a long bolt, it's threaded, there's no nut story about it. Just undo it and sling it out. And that's the bolt you're looking for, at the bottom there. This is a little bit seized, so I have to get the gun on him and just slowly pry it out as I was gunning it out. But it came out. Uh, if you're going to put that back in, I suggest a healthy amount of carbon grease. But now, this is loose you just have to get a little pry bar in it something like something like this if you've got a proper pry bar that's better but as you pry it out you lower it and take the slack off the belt you can then take the belt off two hands is usually easier come out what I would suggest is getting it out turning it that way and pulling out pulley first I'll try and uh, I'll try and um, give you some views of how I'm gonna do that you need to give it a bit of a wiggle to get it off the bottom mount but just be patient with it and it will come Again, if you have got a pry bar, it makes things. Yeah. Yeah, so she's loose. Just twist it in situ. And that is one alternator. No front end off, no bumper off, no jacks up in the air. No three hours. That is one alternate. If I wasn't filming it, that would have taken me about half an hour. And in true Haynes fashion, refit is the reversal of removal. First start, alternator from that car, on this car, you saw me test it earlier, so let's give it a whirl, I'll give you some 
first bird's eye voltage view. 12.7 on the battery. Oh, look at all the volts. Look at, look at the lack of lights. Oh, all of the volts. All of the volts. Thanks, boys. It's all right. The front end is still 80% in place. Yeah. Three hours. Three hours! I'm happy man now. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's a pretty long time. Yeah. Three hours on Saturday, we have to go out and in and out about seven times. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Hey! Yeah, yeah four, four unnecessary battery changes and 100 euros down the pan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lesson for next time, bring a spare alternator. 